Welcome back to the Tiger News Network daily broadcast. Good morning. I am Ella Devers. Today is Friday, August 18th, and here's what you need to know. As a reminder, students are expected to be in dress code each day. The dress code can be found in your student handbook, also located in your grade level Google Classrooms. As stated in the handbook, a collared shirt is required to be worn at all times, even if you are wearing, wearing a sweatshirt or a hoodie. And for clarification, a, quarters, a, co a quarter zip with a collar is not a collared shirt. Hoodies must be appropriate color and either have or either be cons completely solid or have a school logo. Students may wear spirit wear on Fridays, but you must have dress code pants on. Your ID badges also need to be worn at all times. Students who are out of dress code will need to call home for a change of clothes. We know each student is excited to get to school each day, but remember the doors to BMS do not open until 745. Car riders should not get out of their vehicles until that time, and walkers should not arrive earlier than that time. If your parent gets to school before the cones being set in the parking lot, remind them to park in the main lot to avoid traffic, backing up traffic. Don't forget to sell cookie dough. The name for the $1,000 has already been drawn in a top secret envelope. It only takes one item to be eligible, so get out there and hustle. It's only $9 and that could lead you to $1,000. That's a win-win. Beginning today and each Friday for the rest of the year, TNN will be hosting Tiger Rewards drawing using a random name picker. One name per grade will be drawn every Friday. For each positive write-up you receive, your name will be added to the list. The more positive write-ups you receive, the more chances you have to win. So if your name is drawn, you need to see Mr. Payton to pick up your reward. So here we go. And it's a bit delayed, but now we have our Spotlight Teacher interview ready to go. Before the interview, the staff member was asked to select five questions from our investigative reporter, Zeta Phillips. She sat down with them, and here's what they had to say. Take it away, Zeta. I'm Zeta Phillips, and welcome to the TNN Teacher Spotlight, where we spotlight one of our amazing teachers. Before the interview, each teacher gets to choose five questions from our list, with each one being, well, different. This, back, this week, we are back with Ms. Heaton. Hi, Ms. Heaton. Before we jump into the five questions, briefly tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Ms. Heaton. Uh, a lot of people still call me Miss Bean, though, uh, from before I was married. I teach Spanish at the high school, uh, and I have been for several years, and this year I am lucky enough to have a sixth and seventh grade um, enrichment class, and I'm really enjoying that so far. Um, I grew up in Bardstown and went to all of the Bardstown schools, so... I know what it feels like to be in your shoes. You'd be even more lucky if you had some eighth graders. I We're know, the best. I know. Okay, uh, so my first question is, what, what is one of your hidden talents? Um, I really, really like to cook. Um, I used to do like a small business on the side where I would do like meal preps and stuff for people. Um, since then I've had two children and I don't really have time for that anymore, but I still really enjoy cooking for myself and family and friends. I enjoy cooking. My dad makes cakes. He's a baker. Oh, sweet. Yeah, he like, he saw, yeah. That's so cool. I know, I know a little bit about that. <laughs> uh, my second question is, how do you show your school spirit? Well, uh, I have a lot of school spirit. I lead the uh, pep club in the high school, so when you get to that level, you should join. Um, and we do things like plan pep rallies and come up with the themes for games and homecoming weeks. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun and I am always down to be silly or do whatever to pump up the school spirit. Sounds like a fun job. <laughs> um, if you could take the students on a field trip anywhere in the world, where would you take them? Um, so obviously, being a Spanish teacher, uh, I really, really wish I could start out the year and take my kids um, to any uh, Spanish-speaking country, really. Um, Costa Rica would probably be like one of my top choices. Uh, I lived there in college and I really loved it. Um, and they're just a really nice people and their Spanish is pretty easy to understand. Uh, but I think that it would really help like influence um, their motivation for learning a second language. I'm learning Spanish. I have, I have a different teacher, but... Yeah. Miss Fanon was my student. So <laughs> we're not that different. Um, uh, my fourth question is, how do you think students will remember you in your class? 
Um, definitely loud. Um, we like to, obviously it's a language, so we talk a lot. Um, we'll sing some, play games. Uh, I like to have like high energy. Silence kind of makes me feel awkward. Obviously there's a time and a place for quiet and, and silence, but I kind of like it uh, pumped up in my room. Silence is always so loud. Like louder than loudness is just so loud. <laughs> my last question is, is there a quote or saying that you live your life by? Yes, um, you will learn this if you ever have me in class. Uh, but my saying is show love. Uh, I think that covers like all the bases. Um, show love to other people, show love to yourself because you matter and you deserve it. Um, show love to your community and your school and your building and stuff. Um, I just think that's a good rule to, to live by. I like show that. love. <laughs> um, thank you for sit taking the time to sit down with me and of I course. hope you had fun and enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye. Adios. Now here's Ellie with your Tiger Sports Update. Good morning Tigers, I'm Ellie Bennett with your Daily Sports and Extracurricular Update. Tonight is the first high school home football game. As a reminder, any middle school student attending a high school event must be accompanied by an adult chaperone. If you do not have a chaperone, you will be asked to leave the event. The ladies Tigers r r racked up a couple of impressive wins over the Mar Marion County Knights. The sixth grade team won by nine, coming back from a late de deficit. Actually, uh, can we straight start, please? Okay. Uh, the ladies will be back in action on a court next week on August 21st as they take on the generals of Mount Washington. Great job, ladies. The Tiger football team also was also competing last night and easily defeated the Chargers of Bullet. East. They will be back on the field and on the road next week as they travel to Taylor County. Great job on the win and best of luck next week. And now back to Summer Hayes for your daily lunch and birthdays. Well, today's entry choices are pizza and chicken quesadilla with marinara sauce. Not exactly the sauce I would choose for a chicken quesadilla, but okay. The entries will be served with corn, tossed salad, a cookie, and fresh fruit. If that doesn't tempt your taste buds, then you have the choice of a salad or birthday or sandwich. Now to Jocelyn with your birthdays. Oh, no. There are no birthdays today, but celebrating birthdays over the weekend are Brock Hicks, Isaiah Perez, Gabriela Carmen, Carmona. Happy birthday. Make your day a great one, and don't forget to make a wish. Now for the weather. Jocelyn. Good morning. Today should be nice and shiny with a high around of 80 degrees. The overnight low will drop to a cool 55 degrees. So if you're planning on attending the high school football game tonight with an adult chaperone, you sure be sure to bring a hoodie or jacket. You may need it. Now for the joke of the day. And now for the joke of the day. Joke of the day. This one is from Landon Clark. How do you make a piggy bank behave? I don't know. How? You put some cents in it. You know, like money, cents. Yeah, that's terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> And again, congratulations to Reese, Reese Unslid, Natalia Allen, and Reese Jones. Go see Mr. Payton for your prize. Now please join us in the Tiger Pledge. Tigers lead through T. Teamwork. I. Integrity. G. Growth. E. Effort. R. Responsibility. S. Service. Tigers L. Learn. E. Excel. A. Achieve. D. Discover. What do Tigers do? Tigers lead. Now please stand and your teacher will lead you in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you for tuning in to our daily BMS Tiger News. Have a great day, Tigers, and remember to take, take pride, pride in the purple and gold. gold.